Evo? A moment. Tekla, you look like you wrestled a bear. Is something wrong? Gods, Evo. I was robbed on the road between here and Lincoln. By who? Did you get a good look at them? They were Saxons, I know that much. A pack of them lifted four barrels of my ale and all the coin I had on me. The biggest one pulled me off my horse and stuck his mouth in my ear, said, Tell Guthban we expected him home soon. Guthban? That's Battlebone in the Saxon tongue. Are you sure? That's what he said. It's not someone here, is it? Not that I know of. I do not begrudge us taking in orphans, Eivor, but some of these Saxons, we hardly know them. You ought to ask around. A good idea. You take care of yourself. Let me see to this. Thank you, Eivor. I'm well, Rowan. I had only a small question. Do you know anyone named Guthban? Guthban? Hmm. Nothing comes to mind. Should I? It is not a question of should. Ah. Is it a horse? Uh, no, it's, uh... A lover? No, Rowan, it's... It, it's no one. You came here to ask me about no one. Thank you for your time. How's your raven doing today? Octavian. Ah, salve, Eivor. How are you? Well, thank you. A question. Does the name Guthban mean anything to you? Guthban? Hmm. It's not Latin, is it? It is a name, I think. But no face comes to mind. I fear it may be a moniker. A false name. <laughs> so you came to me? Why would you come to me about a false name? Do you think my name is false? No. Is it? I am Octavian. I've always been Octavian. Uh, now, please, Eivor, this is not a good time for me. I am terribly busy. Good day. Bonum fortunum in your travels, Eivor. Tarbin, do you have a second? I was wondering if... I am Guthpen, Eivor. It means battle bone. Not the name of a cheery baker, is it? Not one who bakes bread, no. So, how did you earn this name? Before I came here, I lived another life. A brutal, bloody life. I served with a gang of mercenaries. I was their weapon, roaming the wilds of England. Did whatever they asked of me, and all they asked was violence. When I left, I laid this sword on the grass and made a vow. I swore never to spill another drop of blood, to abandon acts of violence, to never kill again. A hard promise for a hard man. It wasn't, not for me. This life here is all I've ever wanted. I've never been more at peace. This is my doing. I brought all this upon you. It is down to me to fix it. Tarbin, by threatening you, they threaten my clan. I cannot allow that. These men are foul, Eivor. You should not have to fight my battles for me. Do you not hear me, Tarbin? If they threaten you, they threaten me. So let us face them, together. Very well. Meet me outside when you're ready. I believe I know where they will be.
you wish to face your old friends, I'm ready when you are. Good. I'll lead the way. I want you to know, should it come to blows with my old crew, I can handle it myself. Forgiving me is all the work you need to do. There's nothing to forgive. You walked away, they pursued. My axe are by fist, I will do what must be done to protect my clan. <laughs> You're living the life you want, aren't you? Before we are spotted, tell me what I should expect here. Will they attack us on sight? I shouldn't think so. No. Nothing like that. It's not how Wilf operates. Yes, he's a clever one. And rather kind when you meet him. Makes you feel like you're a friend. Family. I met him a decade ago, and he was the first person to truly welcome me. To see some value in me. He told me I had a gift. For intimidation. Persuasion. Violence. Just by the size and strength of me, he knew how to use me. What do they want from you now? They'll want me back. They'll want me to be the man they think I am. Monstrous and massive. Wilf and them were the only family I had then. But their love was conditioned. Wilf only loves what he owns. So what do you intend? I know I won't go back. I don't want more blood on my hands. But apart from that, it's hard to say. Who knows what they have in mind? That house, there. They're likely within. It won't look like much, Eivor. But don't be fooled. And don't take Wilf lightly, charming as he seems. The man is a serpent. I've met plenty of charmers who turned out to be snakes. I know, I know. Only a warning. Let's go inside. My boy, as I live and breathe, you got my message. And you brought a friend. Who might you be, Dane? His new leash? I am Eivor, and the woman you robbed was one of my clan. That will not stand. I know, I know. I'm busted up about it. But tell Tekla, was it? Tell her that her ale is some of the finest we've tasted. I am done with you, Wilf. But we are not done with you, boy. We gave you food, shelter, ale to drink, riches galore. We made you who you are. For all you did for him, he repaid you with blood and sweat. Did he not? 
You're a fiery one, I like that. But the ink was dried on this deal well before your number arrived in England. If you wish to clear Tarbin's name, I'm happy to help with that. It's only a small matter of cost. Some weeks back, soldiers confiscated my personal wares, shall we say. Tried to confiscate me as well, but I gave them the slip. If you're keen, you could recover my belongings and return them to me. Do that, and your name is clear. I... I can't. I promised myself I would leave all this behind, but... If it will clear Tarbin's name, we will recover what is yours. Where are these soldiers? Camped not far to the west. A battalion of bloated, brainwashed military men. You can't miss it for the smell. Wait here, then. We will return before you sprout another pair of horns. God go with you, Eivor. This isn't your fight. You don't need to do this. But I am. Now listen. When we reach the camp, leave everything to me. I will find Wolf's goods and bring them to you. If I'm spotted, it won't be pretty. Many may die, and I do not want you involved. You must not break your vow. No vow stands above my duty to my friends, Eivor. I could not leave you alone with them should they attack. If it comes to that, stand aside until then. I will. You have my word. not to draw attention here.
You found it! I did. Let's bring this back to Wilf. You handled that better than I would have. Is this the sort of work you did with Wilf and your family of Marauders? A quick robbery like this? That was the least of our work. We stole from the poor, killed the helpless, cheated the dim with lowered and slugs. I shudder to remember our best days. And I weep for our worst. Let it go, then. Remember only what makes you a better man. your goods. Beautiful. Beautiful. Put them there. The ledger. Of course. Happy to honor it. My goodness, such a lack of trust these days. It's a dark age, no mistake. That's it, then. We're done? Aye. You are free to walk from this place and live as tob in the boring bread maker for the rest of your days. But you, Abel... If you ever get tired of the settled life, we could always use a thief with your skills. Think about it. Tarbin, are you satisfied? Yes. I cannot thank you enough, Abel. I feared the worst when I heard my old moniker, Guthman. Hadn't heard it in years. It dredges up fearful memories. I imagine. I imagine. How did you fall in with that bunch? After my mother died, I sought them. Wilf offered. He looked at me. Took me in and told me who I was. Who I could be. Anymore. Among you lot, people accept me as I am. The greatest gift I ever got. Peace. Many men are calm because they have never known a storm. You weathered the storm and worked through it. That is a rare thing. That means a lot. Thank you. She was robbed. She's a kind enough woman. And she has faced greater dangers than a few thieves. I suppose you don't build a clan of warriors without seeing your share of danger.
my attention, you know. <laughs> the moment I first saw you, I knew there was something special about you. You have an empathy. I see it in your eyes, having witnessed its absence in so many. You see a problem and you solve it. For you know it is better to see it done than to let it fester. A curse of leadership, I suppose. A calling can feel like a curse, but you wear yours well. Good to be home again. That is, if I haven't robbed myself of the pleasure of calling it home. Tarbin, in spite of all, you're welcome here. And you owe us nothing but the work you love. Right. Payment in fresh loaves of bread. I can manage that. But first, one scrap of your past remains. Right. The ledger. Toss it. And purge the past. With pleasure. <laughs> 